Good morning. Don Keith on the Diary of a Psychotic Video Blog. This video blog is brought to you by Granger Supply, for the ones who get it done. I sometimes think about prophecy and just exactly what determines whether or not something is prophetic. Well, look at the scriptures, and I don't just mean the Bible. I mean like the Quran, the, uh, the Book of Mormon, the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Epistle of Judas Iscariot, and just all of these things combined. They determine, for me, an outlook on human behavior. Human behavior states, for me, that those who do not, do not remember history, or use their memories, are doomed to repeat bad behavior, or negative behavior, or behavior that is not desired. Okay, um, hence we, we come up to the reason why Rome burned, uh, Jesus was crucified, um, Hitler was defeated, um, and the other really pinnacle events, such as the battle on Little Round Top during the Civil War, all right? Um, the turning point in the Civil War. Um, the crossing of the Delaware by George Washington, all right, into Trenton, New Jersey, which was determined who won the Revolutionary War. Okay, well, we oftentimes think that these pinnacle events are often not repeated, but they really are. Okay, go back through the Bible, book of Revelations, from St. John the Divine. Not an entirely complete text, as I've read it a couple of times. And I'm like, the heck are you supposed to, what kind of conclusions are you supposed to draw from this? I mean, that we're all going to die? Of course we are all going to die. Everybody dies. But in Revelations, everybody dies all at once. One third from a, one third from a disease, one third from famine, and then one third from war. And death is supposed to preside over all of this. Did you know that there's supposed to be an angel of death? Yeah, that's right. According to everything I've read in the scriptures, there is an angel of death. So if you see him. It's already too late. Wow. Was he really made by God, a benevolent God? Well, I've looked up what benevolent means. Our God is more of a beatific God. Okay? He believes in good, but he also believes in justice. He believes in mercy, but he also believes in justice. He believes in benevolence, but he also believes in justice. So he determines whether or not what you're doing is good or bad, evil or good. Well, I've certainly seen diabolical, okay? That's chaotic evil. A long time ago, I was playing with a guy named Bob Dawsing and um, Mike Eisenhower and... Uh, I don't remember the rest of the people that were involved in Dungeons and Dragons with me when I was a teenager. Uh, and, I, and I got to be like 20 years old and I was still playing it a little bit for, you know, in college and everything. Uh, but uh, there was a table in one of the books that showed you what your alignment was. Whether you were good, whether you were evil, whether you were lawful, whether you were unlawful. Okay, and this was a little square table, all right? The beatific and the diabolical, they were something else, man, all right? And the uh, benevolent and the chaotic, they were, boy, they were something else too, all right? Extremes of behavior of both good and lawfulness and evil and chaos, okay? Really sick. Really sick. Okay, now, when it comes down to prophecy, those who do not remember the past are doomed to repeat it. And prophecy comes from seeing the past and predicting human behavior by following what they've already done. So, in order to avoid self-annihilation and self-destruction, 
you have to avoid the behaviors of the past that you know do you damage. So, now we get what we have here now. We have the pandemic coming to an end, just like we did 100 years ago. All right. 1921, the pandemic was coming to a close with the Spanish flu. Killed almost 3 million people worldwide. How many people have we got killed now this time, this time from a disease? And right after that pandemic 100 years ago, we started suffering an economic collapse that led to the depression worldwide. Well, we're seeing an economic collapse now. And we're seeing the beginnings of a Russia, Russia European war again, again in the same place. <sighs> Starting from the same people. It's okay. We're probably going to be all right. This time it's going to go faster. So we'll see this Russian Ukraine thing wrapped up pretty quick because Russians are going to lose their stomach for it. They're going to go like, what do we need this place for? It's a wasteland. Yeah, well, that's because you bombed it into oblivion. We don't really have the economic uh, means to restore Ukraine to its former glory, but but we can help individuals to achieve something that's close to it. Um, I urge everyone to at least give it a try after the, the conflict ends to try to support the Ukrainian people and let them re return to their homeland because we can't take any more refugees. We've got Afghani refugees, we've got Guatemalan refugees, we've got Mexican refugees, we've got Venezuelan refugees. Oh my God, the list is endless. And the population of the United States is exploding past 450 million. If you don't believe me, check out the numbers from Rand McNally. Don't look at the United States Census because that's a lie. I know, my wife helped out take it. All right, um, let's uh, give some shout outs. My favorite nurse, the Rotten Tomato. The, uh, the Snowball Express. Okay. Um, Choco. Drunken Pete. May you rest in peace. And uh, let's give one more shout out here to Just Jim. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Okay. This has been the Diary of a Psychotic Video Blog brought to you by Granger Supply for the ones who get it done.